All right, I have seen lots of people getting confused in the first carpal metacarpal joint glide. And yes, of course, it's a multi-axial joint. It is little confusing because also it is a saddle type of joint. And that is why we need to understand that which during which movement it is concave convex rule applicable and which movement convex concave is applicable. But don't worry, physio trends is here. I am here. I am going to simplify it for you all. First, need to understand what is flexion and extension. So flexion extension mainly occurs in the frontal plane. Again, more simplified version. You just imagine that you're swiping up and down in the phone. When you're swiping up, it is called as extension. Swiping down is called as flexion. And because EX, X comes in your flexion extension, you have to remember that during this movement, your trapezium is acting as a convex part because in convex also X comes. So that is why it is going to act as a concave convex rule because the first metacarpal bone is concave and trapezium is convex. So concave convex rule, same side movement as it occurs inside the joint. Last part I explain you all about the flexion extension. This part I am going to explain you about the abduction adduction. Now abduction adduction mainly takes place in the sagittal plane. Okay. So if you consider your palm in an anatomical position and you have to perform the sagittal plane movement, it is somewhere like this. Your thumb is going to move in sagittal plane up and sagittal plane down. So that is called as abduction and adduction. In abduction adduction, trapezium acts as a concave part and first metacarpal bone acts as a convex part. So that is why convex concave rule is applicable and that is why opposite direction of the glides we have to give for improving the range of motion. So I hope you have understood this and still any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you.